Hey guys, well, I got another order. <laughs> this is my last one for a while. I'm gonna stick to my guns on that. Sorry about my popping chair, it pops all the time. Um, but this is gonna be my last one for a little bit and then we're gonna work on my makeup collection about like going through it. But um, <laughs> I still love watching Casey Holmes. She's one of my favorite YouTubers and um, I still may be a little bit hoarse in this video too, so if you've not seen another video, if I've not edited that one yet, um, <laughs> uh, I've just been dealing with sinus drainage, not sick, just annoyance, you know, but anyway, um, so I still like to watch Casey Holmes, and um, I, I love her recommendations because we have similar skin types, and um, she has texture um, with rosacea. I've just got, <laughs> um, some blemishes right now, but, um, she has oily skin and I really, she just has good recommendations and I have found that I really, really like similar things to her. So, um, she found something that she really loved. So I thought I would love it. So I made an order from Urban Decay and I bought this. And if you know me, like, I love eyeshadow. I love makeup of all kinds. I love, there's everything. I love it all. But something that I love that is probably a little bit unconventional um, and that people would be like, you love that? Like, that's something that you love? I, yeah. I love a powder. I love a setting powder um, and concealer. <laughs> Those are two of, like, some of my favorite things. Um, but everything's my favorite thing. So, like, you, you can't hold me to that, okay? But, anyway. Um, this is the... <clears throat> Urban Decay All Nighter um, Translucent Powder. So, I have not used this. I just got it and I want to try it. So, um, she was the one who recommended Peach Perfect and got me on that and I loved it. So, um, we're going to try this today. And I also, I said concealer, right? Um, I also purchased this. It's the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer um, and I have wanted to try it. It is the shade 30NN. Here is what it looks like. Very close to my skin tone. I probably should have went a little bit lighter, but um, it has this little brush on the end that you can blend out your concealer with. Um, and then nice little doe foot, but it's a huge container. So they have the um, I'm sorry for the stupid chair. It gets on my nerves when I'm editing and I notice it more. <laughs> um, I purchased the All Nighter Face Primer. It's the small, like, um, deluxe sample or something. And I had never tried it before, so I wanted to try the primer. Um, and then also I got a little trial size, I guess. So it's the exact same thing. Two, two are the same, um, just a little bit different packaging and different sizes. So, um, and also, I'll just go ahead and tell you this while we're here. <laughs> um, this was something, I feel like I got this for free too, because I don't think I purchased this, but this is the All Nighter uh, setting spray, and I like this. I had one of these. I got it like from a Sephora Favorites or something. I really liked it. And one other little freebie was an Urban Decay Vice high impact lipstick so it's a little mini too and it's in the shade back talk and it's a matte so here's what the little package looks like and there's the shade it's a nice pinky nude i like that so we'll try that later too so we're mostly just focusing on <laughs> my chair popping um mo mostly focusing on these two products um, and then I'm going to use the primer too. So I'm going to go ahead and prime. So it just kind of looks like a lotion. I like it. It kind of feels hydrating and just nice. Like there's no silicone to it. It's just a very nice primer. Um, I did just do a quick little something to my eyes with the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced. This is super 
not old as far as like in my collection, but it's an older palette. Like this has been around for a long time. So I just did a very neutral look on my eyes with this palette and I love this palette. And it smells like peaches. So I'm gonna use the Ambient Soft Glow Hourglass Foundation today. Okay, so I did take my Charlotte Tilbury um, Beautiful Skin Sun Kiss Bronzer, which is the cream bronzer. And I'll put some of that on. So now we're gonna do concealer. I've heard this is very pigmented, so you don't need a lot. It's almost half the size of my foundation. It's over, actually. It's 16.4, and this is a fluid ounce, so that's 30 ml. <clears throat> Let's see what I think about this. I love that. It took a little to nothing to cover. Um, I don't like the brush very much. It's kind of hard and very uncomfortable. Um, so I'm not crazy about that. However, I blended it out with my Sephora 71 brush and it blended beautifully. On to my favorite part, the powder. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender Puff. And there's a netting, which is nice. So I'm just gonna set it. I set this half of the face. I really like it. I do. Well, Casey didn't let me down with this one. <laughs> I knew she wouldn't. This is really, really good. I like this a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay. Let me finish my makeup. I'll be right back. So I got my mascara on. I used L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. We just talked about this in the last video. I'll try to do them in order so that it's not out of order for y'all. Um, so after I did powder, I did my normal brows like I always do. Um, then I used my Hourglass palette. Um, I used the bronzer and this blush. And then I buffed out over top of it with this just a little bit. I used my favorite Jaclyn highlight. I used my Revlon Vinyl Ink Eyeliner just because it was the first one I came to. And I think that's all besides this setting spray. Now I'm going to use this Back Talk Lipstick from Urban Decay. Very pretty, very creamy. I thought I could do it without a lip liner and I ended up getting it everywhere. Um, but it is very beautiful. <sighs> well, y'all, I lived it all. I don't think there's one thing I used that I didn't like from Urban Decay today. Um, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with this purchase, this order, love it all. Um, I can't say enough good things about this powder. I love this. I love the concealer. I feel like I got great 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 coverage with this less is more um and i had watched someone else a couple people use it actually and knew that they had said less is more so that's why i use less um setting spray i feel like it locked on my makeup like it, i can kind of feel that after i spray like it locks on um i like the primer even like i like it all i feel really good i love this look i like I like this, which you already knew that. Um, yeah, I just like it all. So <laughs> this is probably going to be a shorter video. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope that it was fun to watch. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you are staying safe, happy, and healthy. Um, today is a great day. Let me say this really, really quick. This is one of the things I wanted to mention. Um, today is a wonderful day. First and foremost, it is my husband and I's six year anniversary of when we first like started talking, got together, all that. Um, so that's a great day in and of itself, but beyond that, um, my best friend got to adopt her third child today. Um, she's had this baby since the baby was born. This little girl has been in our lives for a little while now, but she is official today. So it just makes the day that much better. So, um, I just wanted to commemorate it because when I found out about this baby that, um, they found out that they were going to get this baby and they were going to get to bring her home from the hospital. So they've had her literally all of her life. Um, 
I was doing a makeup video. I was doing um, my She Glam, full face of She Glam, not the last one, but the one like a year or so ago. <laughs> um, very first one I ever did, where I did the blue eye look, and that was the one. Um, so it's just so crazy that I felt like I needed to sit down and do makeup today and kind of commemorate that, even though it's weird in a way, but I'm just so thankful because God is faithful in so many ways, and this is just such a wonderful, wonderful day. So, um, we're going to get to celebrate all this this weekend, and I'm very excited to get to celebrate with her, um, and I'm just so, so excited. So, it's a good, good day. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're staying safe, happy, and healthy. I know I've already said it, but I'll say it again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.